Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted the other day on Facebook, and most people ever an normally answered her correctly. And I never really had time to do anything. But the font she was going to cut out of wood was too thin. So I just did this font right here. And it's, of course, it's large. I mean, this is 13 inches of a D. But it's, it, if you made it really, I made it large for the video. But if you made it, uh, really thin it could break apart so I've already welded it converted to curves got all the garbage out of the way and this is how I would make it thicker um, there's really no way to make it thicker on the inside and the outside at the same time so I'm just going to move these center parts I need to go to let's see if I can just grab that oh yep and get all the inside circles inside enclosures away and then I'm going to grab it all I'm going to go up to effects and contour I'm just going to contour it and you can only do like one letter at a time I'm going to do it in red so we can see the difference but I actually need to go to the outside and I'm going to hit apply and see it made the outside quite a bit thicker now we're going to do this one to the outside now we're going to take these right here. We're going to do them to the inside, the same amount. And you could do them quite a bit more than I'm doing them, but I'm just trying to change them just a little bit. And then what I would do is select it all, go up to arrange, break the 13 objects apart. Now, if we grab the inside, we should be grabbing the new, the new contour. So I'm going to cursor down or I should have gone down and so that's the this is the new contour I'm a, I might have missed that little O right there but you can see and then we're, these are broken apart and the outside the inside is on the red so I should be able to grab it and move it up because I'm just clicking on the inside and now if we bring these areas back you can look at the difference in the thickness of the font and I didn't go very much but it's quite a bit thicker there than there so you could go quite a bit more you can't go drastically too much or you'd lose some of your lettering but if you can see that part right there is quite a bit thicker on my new one if I turn them black you ought to or I was helping somebody earlier with some colors I actually got his color palette open. We're going to fill it in with black. And you'll be able to tell the difference on how much thicker it is by the way it's going to look. So that right there is quite a bit thicker. The O, the, the swoops, and the end of the G. Now, I did mess up right there. I must have left that part out when I originally did it. So if you do it kind of like two steps to the inside and outside, that would be one way to do it. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.